All right, well, it's four o'clock. Sunday afternoon, headed back to Omaha. And it's been a little over 20 years since I've been back. This time as a fan though, so going as a fan this time. So looking forward to it, should be a good trip, hopefully. We'll see what happens. I have a two-hour layover in Atlanta, and there's nothing open. No restaurants, nothing. Biggest airport in North America, and nothing open. And there's people everywhere, just like a regular Atlanta airport. No restaurants, nothing. Nothing open. So, I have to settle for this, and this for supper. Finally made it. It's 11:30. Hopefully, they still have some rental cars. Looks like they do. Well, not a whole lot to choose from. You got this or whatever. This is right here. Guess we'll just get this. Well, I made it, it's 12.30 and no supper. So I'm just gonna go to bed and get up early, go eat breakfast, probably do a good workout in, gotta do some work in the morning, and then early afternoon we'll meet up with some people and see what's going on down at the park before the game. Well, they do have a pretty cool picture here in the bathroom. All right, it's about midday. Monday. Work's done. Got a big breakfast in. Now I'm walking down. There's down by the river right now. So the plan is today is to go downtown, make way to walk the pedestrian bridge today, go downtown uh, to the old market area, eat lunch there, stay around downtown all the way to game time tonight. All right, I think I'm gonna do the pedestrian bridge first. Of course, you can see it right over, right over there. It's connecting Omaha to Iowa to Nebraska. Probably not gonna walk the whole thing. You see, there's already a lot of people on that, so it's a pretty popular place to come run and walk and everything. So, we'll go on top of it. Maybe just walk halfway cross it or so almost there see right here is like some pretty nice apartments sticking over the river this way on the other side it's actually downtown you actually see a little bit of the stadium right over there I don't know if you see the lights or not but on this side you can look over the stadium and downtown this side look over the bridge and the river all right Entrance to the bridge is right here. It loops up around there, all the way across there. And as you're walking up the entrance to the bridge, of course you can see some of downtown and the stadium right over there.
All right, getting on the bridge. It's a little windy today, so might not be the best of audio quality up here. With this wind blowing, you can feel the bridge moving beneath your feet. Since it's a little windy today, but here's some shots from the center of the bridge. But as soon as I got off that bridge, a thunderstorm came out of nowhere. So, that's about a 45 minute wait under a, this was a covered bus stop right there, so we jam packed underneath that. Heading back down to downtown now, gonna grab some lunch. Uh, there's a alumni event in the Civic Center, probably hit that after lunch. I don't know if it's even gonna rain anymore. And then if it's not raining, do some more. I'll go by and do some tailgating with a couple of people and hopefully the rain will hold, will hold off tonight. We'll see. Let's walk in here and see what we got. Not really sure what this place is, but they've got a lot of different stuff. I guess I'm in the toy section here, but a lot of vintage items. Looks like a lot of vintage toys, DVDs, movies. Yeah, definitely a type of vintage store. It's got a lot of stuff in here. Nothing really I need or won't, but Coach Polk might want that. Let's see. Bunch of old Coke and beer bottles. Get into some sports stuff. I don't know what I grab football, but I don't know. It says Heisman 72. Something player of the century. Can't really read it, but well, after a little research, that's Johnny Rogers, 1972 Heisman Trophy winner. Be pretty neat to have. I just don't know if that's legit or real. Looks like it, just not real sure. Forty-four dollars. Anybody wants a 1972 Heisman Trophy? I read football. It's here, so come get it. Oh, old Mizuno catcher's glove. There's another. I grab something here. I'm not sure that's those are those aren't authentic sign in there, but that looks like it is. More Hot Wheels. I'm not into Hot Wheels, but if anybody is and you're in Omaha, they probably have what you need. Bunch of old records. here more all over 
there. Some baseball here. Cal State maybe. Some more baseballs here. Let's see. And there's, and there's a printer on there. I don't, I don't think that's really. Yeah, there's a printed on there. Those are some. What year is this? 82. There's a Smoltz upper deck card. Willie McGee. Alan Tremel. Saw him at the Hall of Fame a couple years ago. He's got baseball cards, $10. So you pick these. Don't know what's inside. Probably not $10 worth, but maybe. Here's some old starting lineup, 98. Collectibles. Matt Williams. Alex Rodriguez, 97. So, ticket stub from uh, 2018. Starting lineup, some older figurine there. It might be kind of cool to have. <laughs> yeah, I think it's in there. Yeah. Wow. Oh. It's actually pretty neat. Probably see what year that's from. Oh, looks older than that. Ninety-six, but. So we're starting to line up figurine of Ty or Sag Young. <laughs> Some more back here. And this is definitely been in cheer. Pay for them. Four hundred dollars. All right. Well, that's pretty interesting. If you're into vintage toys, especially Hot Wheels, this is a place to come. Lunch at Spaghetti Works. Just got a beef pizza, so we'll see what this is like.
Well, I just left the uh, alumni gathering. I knew there'd be a lot of people here, but dang, there's zero bandy people here. I've seen maybe two. There's no way that the game's not gonna be more than 80, 90% state fans. All right, headed to some tailgating for the game. We've got about three hours for the game starts, so I'm gonna head over here for a little bit, hang out over here for some. And uh, one story I was gonna quick, quickly tell is, so I was talking to Jay Powell at the alumni uh, gathering there. And one of the times that I remember going to Mississippi State games back when I was a kid, is we went to the Superdome one time to watch uh, State play, I think maybe LSU, there's a couple of Louisiana teams. I was probably 12, 13 years old maybe, something like that. But I remember, Jay Powell was pitching and a foul ball came up I caught the foul ball in the stands so I'm you know 12 13 years old and I thought it was just the uh, the neatest coolest thing that I caught a foul ball not just because I caught it but because Jay Powell had touched the ball he this is Jay Powell used this baseball and pitched it so Jay Powell I'm now holding a, a ball that Jay Powell was pitching with so I was telling Jay that so he got a funny kick out of that. So there's many stories people have, but I just one that I remember when I was younger.
fifth inning, you know, take a little break and start out good. I'm in the first inning, but first inning pitching was just wasn't there. Waltz hits, them, they hit a home run. So I'm trying to get back in it. It's seven to two right now, about the fifth inning. So I'm gonna do a little walking around and take a little break from the seat and see if they can help us get a little bit of a rally going. Captain Lou Belknap goes over to first base and ducking back in easily to score. 